Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Call to Arms Gates of Hell Osfront, the Hot Mod 1968 edition. We're playing our Soviet campaign. As far as what we're bringing, Call in 1 is our two PT-76s. I'm really just treating these as armored fighting vehicles as opposed to tanks. They're not, I mean, they're not really tanks. They, they have a good gun. It can penetrate 140 uh, down to 63 millimeter. That seems pretty bad at far ranges, but it's really good at supporting the infantry. And then we have two rifle squads. These are the ones with the marksmen in them. The marksmen have been amazing. And then a T10. Uh, I've been absolutely loving this tank. It has been just chewing holes through the enemy's infantry self-propelled artillery yeah the self-propelled artillery like the su-76s um it struggles a little to take out an is-2 directly but the is-2 can't really do anything back to it so that's a bonus and then our spetsnaz sniper we didn't really see them too much in action because i screwed up in the last battle with them uh call in two is two more or three more rifle squads two more t10s uh a medic two mortars sorry two medics and then another spetsnaz sniper team i really like this spetsnaz sniper team because it has a sniper and a spotter so um that's really cool and then an rpg 2 team it's not even the rpg 7 but i've had it in my inventory for a while um, and I had two points, so might as well. Call in three is the big stuff. So two ammo trucks, a tank crewman, two more combat medics, sorry, two tank crewmen, another rifle squad because you can have, never have too many bodies, and then our big boys, two, tick, two T-64s and two of the captured... Um, anti-aircraft guns which are basically the exact same as the ones that we can grab uh, i really like how they sound when they shoot you can actually see ammo on the inside of the turret which is really cool very very cool stuff so uh, once again we we still don't have any of this i could take smoke screens i don't feel like they're necessary so we'll go on into the mission and I think we'll take this one. Research is really what I want. Um, or just lots of resources. As some of these things cost an absurd amount of resources. All right, call in one. Um, just going to move up a tad and see what's going on here. Divvy up our troops, and I want to do a quick pause, make sure, I believe we've done this map already. Yeah, I recognize this, um, the objective is this little farmstead over here. We might have, I think we attacked it from the opposite direction though, so at least we're not attacking from the same direction. Yeah, we did. We attacked from the opposite direction. So we came this way in. Coming in this way actually looks much harder. Uh, we might need to swing around and protect this flank while we assault in over here. Um, might be a little bit difficult to assault straight away. Probably run a T10 up here. A PT over here and then another PT um, maybe right up here and then call in two we can put T10s on the hill over here and sort of protect against any <laughs> inevitable Chinese waves of infantry. So let's just start moving forward. Uh, the PTs are the squishiest things we have right now. The T10, not terribly worried about what the enemy can bring against us. 
I say that and I'll probably, you know, lose somebody, but that's the way it goes. Alright, T10s, I would like you all... Where's that objective? Wow, it's far. You can move up here. And where's the other one? You move up here. And then if you all... Like that... You went up the road, and you went about here. Uh, feels like we we have a long run ahead of us. I would like our spotters to do some preliminary spotting. RPG guy, infantry, move some infantry up. Here's some more snipers, spotters. Uh, I think if they went in that bush over there, that would be fantastic. I'm looking for a weapon crew. Which are our mortars. And RPG moving up. Infantry. Move up. Lots of assets to command in this game. You all can actually. You all move there. Love you to go there. You to go there. That T. 10 is doing a great job already. Um, you guys can just be a reserve group for the time being. This TT. What was. Oh, no, sorry. You're the mortars. Deploy your mortar and deploy your mortar. RPG team move up there this spotter sniper group you could go into those trees over here and there's a lot of ambience in here which is fine um, it's a little loud the the bird. Hopefully that's not too distracting for people. I feel like we're miles away from the objective still. Let's move you all up. Because it looks like I'm probably correct in that we are miles away from the objective. You all move like that. You all move up here. I don't know if you're doing any good shooting like that. You go over here. Perfect. All right. These mortars are too far back. This medic is fine. Well, we'll move him a little. Let's grab you guys and move you up. Move you up this road. 
I would like to move you about here. You might get RPG'd, but it's a, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Alright, let's move you up here. You up here. Let me spread out a little bit more. You go up on that hill. Alright. There's infantry. Where's our PT? Right. I actually want these mortars to go here. I feel like that is a better line of fire. And these marksmen go up here. Do we have anybody? Um, you all can go over here. All right, here's the call it methodical move up. I'd actually like you all to go over here, and you all can go here, and this PT could go over here. Our infantry... Jeez. That is just getting destroyed. Feel like, yeah, he's dead, right? Boom! Headshot. I like that vision up there. Really great vision. Just put those over here. I would like this squad to move up here, maybe in these trees. And just keep leapfrogging. I know I have another call in. I don't feel like it's necessary to use those resources at the moment. When I say use those resources, I just mean... Um, uh, basically the micro that it would take to work on that. Did I lose somebody there? I don't necessarily know who I'm losing them to. I feel like these guys are about to be hit by friendly fire. Was that twelve point seven? Let's just call you in and grab our tanks and move them up. And move this gun. And then our ammo. Okay. Do we think it is safe yet? Last thing I want is for my tank to be hit by an RPG from the side or the rear. Because while I think the M t or the T ten is really powerful. I don't think it's invincible. Like you... 
to maybe be about here. This spotter, I think, would do better moving forward. There's a guy right there. I don't think we got him. Type 59? Was a Type 59. Right, I'm glad to start seeing... I don't believe that those shells aren't going straight through it. That's incredible. Okay, that's dead. Shoot, our sniper. Ah, uh, no, our sniper's down. That's just our spotter left. Shoot. That's unfortunate. Let's move the T10 up a little. Feel good about this flank. What is this? 12.7 doesn't doesn't bother me. Okay, we have this objective. Oh, they're T10. Let's uh, move the T10 up. So it doesn't create any friendly fire incidents. And let's move you up here. Our mortars need to... Probably push up over here. I think we are done with this area. Um, never hurts to have infantry in support, tank crew in support, and more tank crew in support. Let's move these infantry. Um, not really sure what to do with them. They're little too spread out or not sorry they are unable to spread out enough to my liking so instead you all will go here and you all will go here looks like we've got some great eyes on that objective um, T-64s are just going to cover that flank from anything that feels... Frisky. Infantry feels good. This objective feels really good. Um, I would like this PT to go about there. And you all need to provide ammo over here. I would like some infantry guarding this flank. Uh, tank crew, you're fine. More infantry. What is this? S2. Okay. Uh, where is it? It's over there. I'm assuming our T-10 will take it out. Well... Nope. 
I am not going to do better than that one. And come on. Take that one out. Let's move this T10 up here. And you can go here. And you can go there. And we can't take this IS2 out. Oh no, 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 no. I'm amazed that this IS-2 is alive. Come on. Oh, your gun's broken. Shoot. And your track's broken. Gunners are a little interesting. IS2 proving to be a problem is not great. Alright, can you move up there and spot? It's not a problem. Really? You're suiciding in? RPG? RPG? RPG. Interesting. Okay. What's over here? Alright, I need infantry to not necessarily basically to screen, to give my tank some decent eyes. I probably just got my RPG team killed. I just realized that. Yeah. That was a really poor decision on my part. Are you not able to see these guys? Just move you all into this tree line and another tree line here. What do we have, Luna? Medics, can I group you together? This infantry over here. I mean, this flank, I'm not terribly concerned about. Really, we just need to start moving up over here. There's just some annoying, annoying uh, guys. What if we move a, a mortar over here? That would, that would, I think that would work. Okay. Let's start... where's the T10? Can you just crest this hill? Can you... you're all fixed up. Can you go there? We have a T10 that way. Okay. And sniper. Perfect. 
He's got an RPG though. Why is our marksman struggling to see him? Come on. I do not want an RPG hitting us. Okay, cool. Alright, where's our mortar over here? I feel like a mortar right there would be great. I would like this vehicle to move there. And this vehicle to move up here. Infantry, um, just protect it, please. Don't let a stray RPG come in. Infantry, or sorry, medics, you can move over here. Ammo. What are you guys? Let's, uh, let's just put you in the woods over here. And... I think... It's looking pretty good. T-64s... Right, where's some infantry? If you go into the woods here, and you all go into the woods here, what happens? You all go into the woods over here. I don't see anybody. But that doesn't mean anything. Listen, that doesn't mean anything. Ooh. Ow! Okay. That was rude. And it distracted me over here. And I've lost almost an entire squad because of it. Well played, AI. Well played. There is an infantry somewhere. I do not need another rocket launcher taking out my infantry or my tank. Down to two tank crew on that. No, come on. What are you? Why can't you guys take this thing out? Oh man. I thought you guys would be able to take that out. I don't understand. How is this so difficult? You guys able to? All right, that was weird. Let's move you all over here. I see an infantry push coming that way. Um, I would like infantry to go about here, and then which tank is it over here? Go in. So, I think infantry there. We have the victory. We see plenty of infantry crossing the open. Uh, 
There's somebody right there. I don't need my tank being RPG'd at the last moment. Medics, medics, medics. Oof, you're in the wrong spot. I'm assuming this supply truck is kaput. Darn. Do I feel safe enough to scavenge? I, I think so. I need you to continue repairing that. So those rocket launchers did a did a number on our tanks. I mean I don't think the tanks were necessarily at risk of dying but the crew inside I definitely lost some crew members. So that was interesting. Very cool though. All right, I will pause the video here and I'm going to do some scavenging. All right, we have scavenged the battlefield. Quite the haul from this one. There's the Type 59 tank uh, that we knocked out. Two of these 107 millimeter Type 63 multiple rocket launchers, a big 122 milli millimeter type 60 gun, a 12.7 millimeter type 54. Unfortunately our mortar is dead and I believe this uh, ammo truck is dead. Uh, we also took this type 63 Dushka, a BM 13 7 millimeter, I, I don't know, it's like Katusha what it looks like to me. So it's a, it's a self-propelled rocket launcher. Um, an IS-2, which, you know, scarily enough, uh, we struggled to take out. Another Dushka over here, I doubt we'll get that one. I bet that's uh, part of the medium defenses. But overall, a pretty fun battle. I think we took very minimal casualties until the end, really, where um, those rockets killed a bunch of our tank crew, but otherwise I feel pretty good about that one. Um, yeah, I was just waiting for that to repair just a little bit, and we will finish the battle. Um, for those of you wondering why everything is parked uh, together, at the end of the battle I essentially move everything together and then park ammo trucks there. To resupply them all because it's easier to resupply the ammo truck than it is to resupply your entire force. We only lost 13 men. That was exceptionally good. Um, I, I think you can just see that we're a little bit too powerful for the Chinese. Um, kind of why I want to do uh, a new campaign against the Americans because I don't think the Chinese have anything against the T-80s, so that's that's a thought there. Uh, um, we have 8.2 research, so I will unlock call in stage 4. Um, that'll be the very first thing we do. Three leftover points. Uh, what do I want to do here? Artillery would be fun. I don't really feel the need to grab the T-80. We can slowly start replacing our T-10s with T-64s is a thought. Artillery sounds tempting. Saving up for helicopters sounds tempting. Oh boy. Does not take much to unlock some of these ridiculous 
helicopters. But there are a lot of manpower, resource points, whatever you want to call it, to um, purchase. I'm not entirely sure what I want to use with my last three, so I'll think about it for a little while. It might just be... I might just bank it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As I said, this campaign might be a little short uh, just because I, I think I've said this a million times. I feel like the Chinese are a little underpowered and it would be really fun to do a Soviet versus American campaign and then do an American versus Soviet campaign. And hopefully by that time, the modder who's doing the French can separate out the French from the rest of his mod and it would be really fun to, to try out some Cold War French. Uh, I think just this this time period would make a killing. If Call to Arms redid their original Call to Arms game instead of making it super modern and really hammered in on the Cold War era with everything that they know now, looking at various mods out there, um, creating campaigns, creating multiplayer skirmish. I know a lot of people love the multiplayer in this game. I'm not a big multiplayer person, but I, I understand the appeal of it. I like co-op. Uh, working on co-op missions and campaigns would be great. And then I just... I love the concept of the dynamic conquest campaign. I would love if they added more to it, if they allowed more variables, more more user-defined fields, like um, such as in World War II. Say I only want to do an early war dynamic conquest campaign so that the research tree is different. That that would be fantastic. Or if I only wanted to do a late war conquest campaign so that we could um like pz2s were more of just you know support tanks and i didn't have to go down the tree and lock the pz2 first it was more of more of like a, a almost a reconnaissance vehicle or an observer vehicle um that would be fantastic so hope you guys enjoyed that one um sorry for the little ramble at the end there but just give me give you my thoughts on um, this I, I'm super excited for this mod. I I absolutely love it. I hope that the modder pushes forward with it. It is a blast. It is beautiful. Anyways, until next time. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment below.